Hey folks, Jeremiah here, trapping today, and I'm going to show you how I skin a muskrat. So we get a nice, beautiful, uh, thick prime muskrat here, and uh, I get a vise, which makes it handy. You can use a nail. Uh, you can nail it into a board or the wall or wherever. You can use certain clamps. You can use a skinning game bro, it doesn't matter. Um, this is the way I do it. That doesn't mean it's the way to do it. Uh, a lot of other people do it other ways. I've read different ways to do it, but... Uh, an old timer taught me uh, to do it this way and it seems to work. So I start uh, at the base of one foot and I'm not going to be fast. I'm super slow and uh, that's okay if you're getting started out and you're, you're not fast. You don't need to be fast unless you're doing hundreds of these. And uh, when you get to that point, maybe you'll get fast. Or maybe you'll be like me and I've done hundreds of them and I'm still slow. But that's just kind of the way, I, the way I've done it. And I don't feel the need to get super fast. So um, you're going to make a cut all the way to the tail and I cut up the tail side of the tail a little bit then I go back down the side, other side of the tail some people cut to the vent that's fine it's probably a better way to do it but this works well on the other side and then it's a lot of thumb work okay so now you're just going to be working the skin free from the body with your thumbs. So we're going to work it, work it, work it, work it there. Work it on this side. Till we get toward the base of the tail. Um, when you get to here, you can cut. I just usually just pop that off. Pretty simple. Same thing on the other side. Kind of just open up where we cut and sometimes if you missed a spot you gotta make a quick little cut. Work thumb work here all the way in here and on the back side. We get most of it work most of the way up the leg, the foot on this side, and then again just pop it off. You could use a knife if you wanted to. Now uh, the area around the base of the tail is real thick, so I usually make a couple of cuts with the knife, and I go up the tail ways, and we're gonna leave like an inch of uh, the tail leather on the pelt, and the reason for that is when it's time to put this on the stretcher we're going to use that leather and put it in the hook of the stretcher okay so we got some thick Flush right there, get that out, and then we pull. Again, we're going to pull about an inch up the tail on this side, cut that, and so we've got a little stub of tail here, a little stub of tail there. When we get ready to put that in the stretcher, I'm just going to take the knife, I'm gonna, I'll do it right now, pick a little pinhole there, and a little pinhole here. And that's where we put our stretcher hook in. So very, very simple. Now, once we get that worked free, um, we're gonna go around the belly and make sure we have this free on the belly side of this pelt. And we got some rat glands. Pretty small glands on this one. We are getting into spring. They should be a little bigger than that, I would think. But all right, and now we're just gonna be able to peel this. If 
it's fresh, the belly part won't rip open. And it just goes right down like that. Very nice and slick. We get our finger underneath in the inside of the elbow there. Pop that leg off. The same thing here. See, a lot of the work is near the tail and the, the back legs. Once you get down here, it actually gets a little easier. And then we get a couple ears. Ear there. Ear there. Make sure you cut well above those spots because if you cut too low, you're uh, you're gonna have issues with losing the. You're gonna have a, a big hole in the pelt, which doesn't really affect the pelt much. But we never want to give the buyer an excuse to downgrade their pelts, right? All right. So we're cutting the eyes. Cut a higher. And you notice I switch knives because I just because I don't want to dull the blade on my other knife, so I use this old knife. Here, cut nice and well above the eyes, get that cut out. I nick the skin just a little bit, but it won't be bad. Alright, and then we're gonna go then we're around the mouth here. Lots of shortcuts. Work it, work it, work it. Just keep pressure and keep cutting and there we have it. So that is our skin muskrat pelt. Um, after that, you just move on to uh, to flushing it. Uh, put it on a, a little wooden board, a little mink board or something, and a butter knife. You should be able to get most of it flushed pretty easy, just like that. And then we put it on the stretcher and hook the the two stretcher hooks onto this tail leather part, and then you cut that off when you pull it off the stretcher. So pretty simple, pretty quick. I'm um, again super slow, but if uh, if you do that for a living, you probably do that in about two, three minutes.